Hello, welcome to lesson 43, Indexers in C-Sharp, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is Indexer. Okay, right now, Indexers, C-Sharp introduces a new concept known as Indexers, which are used for treating an object as an array. Keep in mind, Indexers are used for treating an object itself as an array. And indexer, Indexers are usually known as Smart Arrays in C-Sharp community. And defining a C-Sharp indexer is much like defining a property. You remember in the previous sessions, we learned how to define a property in the same way we have to define an indexer. It means that defining a property and indexer are same. The syntax of defining a property and indexer are similar. An indexer is a member that enables an object to be indexed in the same way as an array. Keep in mind, an indexer is a member which will enable the object to be indexed in the same way as an array. The indexer modifier can be private, public, protected, or internal. Keep in mind, index modifier, indexer modifier can be private, public, protected, or internal. The return type can be any valid type in C sharp. The indexers in C sharp must have at least one parameter, else the compiler will generate a compilation error. Okay. Now, to understand indexers in deep, what we'll do is we'll jump into Visual Studio and we'll start coding. Now, what I've done here is I already have a program which explains you clearly what an indexer is. Now, you can observe here I'm having two classes in my program. One is the main class program and the other uh, user defined class that is class employee. In this class employee, we have an array of string type. Okay, and this array size is 5, it can hold up to 5 values and it is private. Since it is private, this array can be accessed outside this class. Okay, now you should be careful observing this part. This part is exactly what we are learning now. This is indexer. Now, before learning deep into index, indexer, what we'll learn is we'll understand the syntax of an indexer first. To understand that, we'll jump into presentation and we'll understand how an indexer is defined. You can observe here, defining a property involves providing a property name. Keep in mind, how do you define a property? We'll define a property with a property name. In a similar way, if you want to define an indexer, you have to use this keyword. Keep in mind, if you want to define a property, then we'll assign the property name, whatever you, whatever you want. But keep in mind, if you are defining an indexer, then we should make use of the keyword, this keyword to name an indexer. And you can observe here, this is the way how the syntax for an indexer, it, can, it consists of access modifier, the return type, this keyword, and the parameter list and as usually the get and set accessors. This is this is what exactly we saw in the program and this is our indexer here. What is this indexer doing? Its return type is string and it will return you the string value and its parameter is integer type. Keep in mind, its parameter is integer type and the variable is index. Now, what is this indexer is going to do? Before understanding what is this indexer going to do, what is my objective of this program? What is the objective of this program? Objective of the program is I'm having an array. If I want to store an array values into array and retrieve back, how do I do? I I do I store values using the array index. Then I'll retrieve back with the same index. Exactly in a similar way, if you want to store values to an array called data in this program in the form of creating an object of a class, then you should make use of indexer. In the sense, if I'm having a class employee. In this class employee, I'm having a uh, array data which is of string type. And if I want to store values sir, with creating the object of employee, then how do I do it? At that point of time, indexes come into existence. Now we'll understand how an indexer is defined here. Now, as observed in the previous slide, the syntax is exactly the same here: get and set accessors and uh, access modifier, the return type, and this keyword is the name of this index and this is the parameter integer type and the variable name is index and first we have to set how do i set it this data of this index whatever we pass the number that number will be passed here and that value will be assigned to this and how do we get it just call the data with the particular index will get the value by creating an object of the class employee now once i'm done with this indexer what is my next objective in the main program in the main program, I have to create an object of this class employee. I have done with that and my object name is E. Then what I'm doing, E of 0 is equal to Rajesh. It means that this E of 0, this 0 goes here and the value is Rajesh assigned here. 
and first value will store in this data in this data string array okay now similarly it can hold up to five values so i have stored five values here and now i am printing back now this is storing the values and this is returning back now when i run this program you can observe it successfully prints uh, all the names on the console screen the build has started you can observe here and now once the build has completed it will show you the names on the console screen let's wait for that yes it has printed the names as expected how did it oh, uh, who, did, who did that work that work of uh, setting and getting the values was done by our indexer and our class just initialized them and uh, passed the data to the indexer and indexer stored values to that data array now to be in simple uh, what 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 was what is the name of this class was employee class implements an indexer you can observe here this employee class implements an indexer for its internal string array that is data array then so now what we can do with the help of this now the object of employee e can be used like an array to add or retrieve string data to be in simple what would we do in the class employee we have an indexer now in the main program we have created an ob object of a class employee and using this object what we can do we can just create we can just add or retrieve elements to this data array that is the objective of the indexer and that's what we learned in this program thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to android training below